This is the hyperbola calculator for masscelebrity.com. There's a few ways to get there. The first is type hyperbola, or if you know your hyperbola equation, you can simply enter that something like y squared divided by 81 minus x squared divided by 49 equals 1. Now, if your hyperbola opens left to right, you can make this an x and change this to a y. And you don't need spaces here. We just did it so it's easier to read. Once you're all set, press the calculator or return key. And so this is our hyperbola calculator. Now, if you're entering problems on here directly, you just pick your first variable here, your second variable here, and the denominators, and you're all set. So we're going to calculate a, a bunch of items. First is the equation of the asymptotes, the y-intercepts, the foci points, eccentricity, and a few other items down here. So first is we determine a and b, and that's just the square roots of the denominators that you entered. Next is we determine asymptote 1 and 2. Now since the hyperbola has a vertical transverse axis, it opens up and down. This is the formula for the asymptotes. Next is the y-intercepts, then the foci points, and here's the formula of math for that. Next is eccentricity, and a few other items, not usually calculated in class, but uh, are mentioned on Wikipedia, so I decided to add them. So that's pretty much it for a hyperbola that opens up and down. Now, what about one that opens left to right? So we could change this, make this 100, make this 36. We'll run this directly on the calculator instead of a shortcut. Go ahead and press calculate. So now it's a horizontal transverse axis or east-west opening. Again, we calculate A and B. And then the asymptotes. The formula is different now. It's B over A instead of A over B. And now we're determining x-intercepts, not y. Foci points again, same thing we did last time. Eccentricity. And a couple additional items down here. So that's it. We also have a practice problem generator that will generate random problems for you. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions on this lesson, as always, use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.